Hello. Welcome to my channel. This presentation is on bacterial fish diseases. These diseases are characterized by red streaks or spots on the body surface, abdominal swelling and swelling of the eyes. The pond environment consists of a variety of bacteria both harmful and those that are not. When the fish immunity is compromised due to stress or as a result of injury a bacterial infection may occur. Pathogenic bacteria may also originate outside the pond via incoming water, food or vectors. Fish tuberculosis. This disease is caused by Microbacterium pisum. The fish appears pale, hollow-bellied, frayed fins, with skin ulcerations. Loss of appetite is also exhibited and vertebral deformities. There is emaciation and loss of color. This disease can be brought about by poor bond conditions and overcrowding. When handling sick fish caution should be taken since the disease could be zoonotic therefore protective clothing, masks, gloves and gum boots should be worn. There is no no treatment. Dropsy also known as erythrodermatitis or spring viremia, occurs when the kidneys are infected by a bacteria leading to accumulation of fluids and renal failure. The fish appears swollen with protruding scales. If the cause is deteriorated pond water you should correct it. Treatment can be done by administering chloramphenicol or tetracycline. Use 1% of antibiotic and food flake. Mouth fungus. Contrary to the name this is a bacterial infection caused by Chondrococcus columnaris. It appears as white cottony patches around the mouth. It starts first as a gray or white line around the lips and later as short tufts sprouting from the mouth as fungi. This infection is fatal and should be treated early since the fish is unable to feed and the bacteria produces toxins can be treated with penicillin 10,000 parts per liter or chloromycetin 10 to 20 milligrams per liter of water. The second dose should be after two days. Tail and fin rot. A bacterial infection that causes progressive deterioration of the tail and or fins. The bacteria erode the fins and tail, to leave the bony rays protruding at the edges. It occurs mostly in bullied, or injured fish especially if bond conditions are poor conditions. The fins become frayed to the base, or their color may fade. Fin rays become exposed. The base of the fin becomes reddened. The fish has difficulty swimming. Sometimes the affected fin or fins can be obviously inflamed and the erosion can eventually affect the skin and muscle. Fin rot is a sign that your pond has an environmental problem can be treated with chloramphenicol or tetracycline 20-30 mg per liter of water. If it's added to food make it 1%. Scale Protrusion Due to poor pond condition the scales can become infected by a variety of bacteria. The scale protrudes from the skin. Correct the pond condition if it's the cause. Treatment is adding 1% chloramphenicol or tetracycline to fish food. As a last resort you can use 10 mg of antibiotic per liter of water. Furunculosis. This disease is common in Salmonids. Causative agent is Aramonas salmonicida. These bacteria breeds in internal organs such as liver, kidneys, spleen and so forth. It appears as small lumps under the skin. There is also inflammation of the intestines. Spots on liver. Hemorrhage at the base of the fence within the gill cover and muscle fiber. Can be treated with a mixture of sulfonamides, nitrofurans, and antibiotics with food. Bacterial gill disease. This disease is caused by Myxobacterium species and a variety of other bacteria. Mostly affects young salmonids in intensive culture systems. The fish develops anorexia and remain motionless near the water surface. Gills become swollen and dark red, gill filaments excrete mucus, operculum remains open. Predisposing factors are unkempt bond conditions. Treat with 1 gram copper sulfate and 2 liters of water for 1 minute, 
or 1 gram in 10 liters of water for 10 minutes, or 1 gram in 100 liters of water in 1 hour. Bacterial Hemorrhagic Septicemia This disease is caused by Araminus hydrophila. It is characterized by skin, fins, and muscles hemorrhage and ulceration. Enlargement of kidney and spleen enlargement. The fish eyes may protrude. Infected fish have swimming abnormalities, pale gills. The skin ulcers that occurs may be surrounded by a bright red layer of tissue. The fish becomes lethargic. Enteric red mouth. This disease is caused by Yersinia recurria gram negative bacteria. It is common among salmonids. Infected fish shows hemorrhaging and ulceration of the mouth, eyes, fins and gills. Necrosis occurs in the liver, spleen and kidney. There is also enlargement of spleen and kidneys. Uncamped punt conditions predisposes fish to this disease. Rainbow trout fry syndrome. Infected fish abdomen becomes distended. Eyes may protrude and the fish color darken. The gills becomes pale and there may be cutaneous ulceration and necrosis of tail fins. The fish skin may be covered with excessive slime. There is enlarging of liver and spleen. The fish become lethargic and loses a balance. Chlamydial infection. Infected fish shows respiratory distress. Protruding eyes. There is formation of white cysts on the gill lamella and skin. These cysts have distended epithelial cells with numerous basophilic organisms. There is excessive formation of slime. Bacterial kidney disease. Caused by Rhinobacterium samninarum. Hemorrhage is seen at the base of the fins and the gills become pale. There is darkening of the skin and eyes may protrude. It is also characterized by fluid accumulation in the abdominal cavity. There is also enlargement of the kidney liver and spleen and formation of opaque layer. Thanks for watching. Like this video and subscribe to this channel to get updates for videos like this.